Hello, grade two. Our lesson today is length and mass. The first unit of length in our lesson is millimeter. We write it mm. We use the unit millimeter to measure the length of very small objects. Here's the millimeter in the ruler, small dashes. The small dashes between any two big dashes, for example, here, or here, or here, are millimeter. I can use millimeter to measure the length of an ant, or a ladybug, or a particle of rice, or seed. The second unit of length in this lesson is centimeter. We write it cm. The unit centimeter is used to measure the length of lot of objects from our real life. This dash measures one centimeter. If I want to measure the length of a pencil, I use a ruler, since the length of a pencil is in centimeter. First of all, I put the pencil at the first dash, which is zero. Then I look where it reaches. In this case, it reaches the big dash number four. So the length of this pencil is equal to four centimeter. Now I will give you examples of objects that we can measure them in centimeter. For example, the length of a bag or the length of a pencil case, or length of pair of shoes, or length of copy book or pencil, as we said, length of a water bottle, or length of a flower. The third unit of length in this lesson is meter, which is M. Um. We use meter to measure the length of big objects. Can we measure a door by using ruler? Of course we cannot, because the length of this ruler is so, so small with respect to this big object, which is the door. So, we use the measuring tape. This is a measuring tape. I can use meter to measure the length of a building, the length of a wall, the length of the bed my length or the length of a tree. The fourth unit of length in this lesson is the kilometer. We write it km. I want to measure the distance from our school to Beirut. Can I use the measuring tape and the unit meter? No. So, when I want to measure long distance, I use kilometer, km, as a unit of measure. For example, to measure the distance flight by an airplane or to measure the length of a road. The second part of our lesson is mass. We use the balance to measure the mass of the object. This is a balance. The bottom hand shows me heavier object. As for the top hand, it shows me lighter object. Here we have different kinds of balances. We can find them in our real life. Which unit we use depends on how big the object is. We have three units in this lesson. The first one is milligram. We write it mg. We use milligram to measure the mass of very light or small objects. For example, medicine or feather. The second unit is gram. We write only g. We use the gram to measure the mass of light objects, for example, the ring or an eraser. And the third one is kilogram. We write it kg. We use kilogram to measure the mass of heavier or large objects, for example, apples or one kilo of sugar. Let us practice now. We have this table. In this table, we have three columns, milligram, gram, and kilogram. We are going to put 
these objects under the correct unit of measurement. First of all, one paper. The mass of one paper is very, very light. That's why we are going to put it under milligram. The mass of a school bag is very big. That's why I'm going to put it under kilogram. The mass of one carrot is light only. I'm going to put it under gram. The mass of salt as well is light. I put it under gram. My weight on the balance is large and big. That's why I'm going to put it under kilogram. The mass of five bananas is big. That's why in the same way I'm going to put it under kilogram. The weight of a necklace is light. That's why I put it under a gram. And the weight of medicine is very, very light. I put it under milligram. And this is your homework. Stay safe and stay home.